Hey everybody, it's Susanna from Paper Craft Planet. I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how I use Lightroom to do my project life each week. And this is going to be a, um, you know, a very quick little overview for you. And I haven't rehearsed it, so <laughs> bear with me. The first thing you want to do is pick out your pictures that you want to use each week, or this week. Um, what I do is I go in and I select um, my you know six to eight photos that I'm going to use and I color code them red. You can do that by pressing the number six on your keyboard or going under photo, set color label and selecting red. The reason that I do this is so that I can see this in my smart collections under photos colored red I'll be able to just see the pictures that I want to use this week and then I can drop the color coding off you know with the push of a button. This smart collections also show up in the print module so it makes your life simpler down the road. The next thing I've done is I have imported the digital elements for Project Life that I purchased at jessicasprague.com and I imported them into a folder called Project Life and I'll pick the element that I want to use this week and I'll tag it red as well. So now everything I want to use is in one folder. Now let's navigate to the print module. In the print module I've created a 12 by 12 canvas. You can do this by going under page setup, paper size, and then follow the instructions for your printer on creating a custom paper size. I do not have a 12 by 12 printer. I'll send this off to be printed and we'll go through that step at the end. Now I'm going to actually create a Project Life template and all you have to do to do that is go under, we'll start at the top, layout style. I want a custom package, image settings. I want to have rotate to fit unchecked rulers and grids you don't need to have anything there unless you want to see the dimensions of the cells that you're creating cells I'm going to have four four by six photos and you can see here they overlap a bit that is because your computer will assume that you're going to have this printed and there's a little bit of what printers call bleed area so um, just so you know, you're going to want your cells to be just a hair smaller than 4x6. Um, and you're going to want some white space between them. So um, I've got this one adjusted. I think the final size turned out to be um, 4 by 5.73. I'm going to hit the Alt key and just copy this one. And I'll copy them to where I want them to go, which is in my four corners. Now I want to create four across. So let's copy this one more time. And you can see that, um, again, four inches is not going to work because your computer assumes there's going to be some bleed space. So we're going to have to make this just a little bit smaller. And you can do that by dragging on these handles. And I'm actually going to make my 4 by 6 a little bit smaller as well. Maybe make this 3.65 by 5.75. And actually, let's make that 3.75 as well. And let's delete all the others. And then we'll take this one. I'm going to hold down my Alt key, and I'm just going to drag it into position. Let's move that up. Let's copy one down there. Okay, now when I go to the middle, ta-da, that one's perfect. Okay, so let's make this about half the size. There's no nudge in Lightroom, which is, you know, really slightly bothersome. I'm pretty sure I can hit a button to make it not do that, but I don't know what the button is to make the grids not sticky. All right, well, let's jockey that into position. And now we'll copy it. Hello. There we go. Okay. 
apparently when you copy it, I'm holding down the Alt key, it lets you move it. Okay, now there's two templates here, so let's delete one of them. I'll get that one exactly where I want it. Okay, so here are my templates, and this is the Project Life format. Now, all I have to do is take the pictures that I want to have put in my layout this week and pop them into position. And you can see it has a little tag right there. Doesn't matter. You don't have to use it. Um, oops, I wanted this to go there. We're going to swap that out with this. And I don't have another picture for here, so we'll just, we'll just pretend. And... I don't have another picture for there, so we'll pretend again. Um, okay, so there you go. Um, I want to, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to turn off the dimension grid because it bothers me. Um, I'm going to save this template. So what I'm going to do is go to the top of the template browser and hit the plus key, and I'm going to call this Project Life um, Design A. And now, next time, I want this. I'll have it. You do not have to have this be your final layout. You can send this um, to the printer or Costco just so you can cut the pieces up. It does not have to be your final design element, but if you want to, you absolutely can use it this way. And if you want to, now this is very limiting, if you go under Page, you can go to Identity Plate and double click on it and click Edit and you can change this to anything you want. Let's say um, um, a, let's put the date, February 26, 2012, and I want this to be black, so I'll use the little color guide right there. And I want to change the font to something that's more easily read, like uh, Avenir. And my font dropped out, so let's change that again. Oh, sorry, it's back there. And let's hit OK. Now here's my font right there. And I, I can drag that around. I can use the little handles to make it bigger. Um, you can use this to put titles on your picture, but it will only let you have one identity plate on, on a canvas. So, um, it's great for titles. It's not great for journaling. You can't really use it that way. If you just want to write one line on a, you know, on a photo, it's brilliant. Um, okay, so we're done with this. Let's print it. And what we're going to do is tell it in the under print job to print this to a JPEG file, and that will print it to any location I want, and then I can upload it to Costco or wherever. Or if I did have a 12 by 12 printer, I would just send it to the printer from there. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful week. This is Susanna from Papercraft Planet.